And I've been waiting for them to... I figured out uh, it's sort of a work in progress, but... Mm -hmm. They haven't really done much work on it. Well, who knows? Maybe they are. Maybe they're working really hard. And you're just an impatient person. <laughs> Maybe you should shut the hell up. I think you should shut the hell up. That's the whole point of what I just said. Get bastard. Hey guys, Steve Kutowski here, back again on Games and Guns. Uh, I've got Misfit Politics and Brandon Morris, who's, I think he's trying to do a product placement, but he's failing miserably at the moment. Uh, no, yeah, almost, a little bit, no, uh -huh. not quite. Coffee is so though. much there. better out of a Misfit yeah. Politics now mug. Just put it, put it down right in front of the camera and just leave it there the whole episode. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to play... Some Titanfall. Steven woke me up to do this, y'all. Yes, it's it's four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, it's eight thirty in the morning. <laughs> Five thirty in the morning. It's somewhere between those two times. But Brandon just it's somewhere between those. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna you're gonna play some Titanfall, and we're gonna talk about Hillary Clinton, which is extremely exciting. This is gonna be the most exciting episode uh, to date. We're gonna because who doesn't like talking about Hillary Clinton? Hillary right? Clinton. We're going to talk about her her hairstyle, her pantsuits. It's going to be great. Don't I'm talk about her pantsuits, Stephen. You'll get booed. <laughs> and uh, also some about some. Uh, we're going to talk about upcoming games, next gen games that we're excited about or interested in. At least I was reading a Forbes article the other day that was about how none of the new systems have like a like a, a really great game yet. And I I didn't think that was true because Titanfall is great. But the author was was um, talking about, whoa, what just happened? I just got an email. <laughs> that's what, you, every time you get an email, you get that crazy sound? That's not, that, dude, that's Zelda. That is classic Zelda. Oh, it's distorted on the sun. Anyway, um, the author was talking about how Titanfall had all this, you know, fanfare in the lead up, and it, it was a pretty great game. Um, and everybody was, loved it and was excited about it when it came out and they first started playing it, but nobody's really talking about it anymore. I think that's probably true. And it has a lot to do with the fact that there just isn't that much to do in the game. It's yeah. just, there's a couple of multiplayer, like really, really generic, basic multiplayer types. And then that's it. You can't do anything else. You can play through the entire game of Titanfall in a day and experience everything. You know, the, the only thing that it gets randomized as your multiplayer experience and what other players do and how you interact with them. <clears throat> and that's the biggest problem with games like this. There's only so much you can do on it, on, on, a, on a strictly multiplayer shooter. You have to have some sort of single player scripted, like, over the top experience. Well, yeah, I think that's one of the big problems. But the other problem is, like, once you get through the, multi the single player in Call of Duty and a lot of those other types of multiplayer first games. The difference is that in Call of Duty or whatever else, there's a lot of um, variation in the multiplayer. Like there's a lot of different game types, and they they change them up a lot. Call of Duty's already changed up their game types, you know, for Ghosts probably three times now, I think. Mm -hmm. And and they're all they have like some very interesting and unique and new um, game types. And that's the real big difference. Like, I don't see that from Titanfall at all. Yeah. They started with this, the same game types that they have right now. But... Oh, really? Yeah, oh. Die, 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 die. My Titan's prepped for dodge. I'll cut it in the radio. I died, I died, I died. Yeah. Yeah. The dash core. I'm gonna dash around. Dash and McDash core. Dash, 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 dash. Die. I want you die a little faster than that. So, how about that news? This stuff. That news. Okay. How about that Hillary Clinton, hey? Hey, oh, hey, hey. Hey. Hey, hey, that Hillary. The Hillary. See, I just, just came up with like her slogan right there. Right there. <laughs> how about hey, that, hey, Hillary, that Hillary, hey? <laughs> yeah, that, be very hip and with it. I know, right? I'm not... okay. <laughs> yeah, apparently she hasn't done much of nothing. It would seem. What uh, are how dare you, sir? Oh, well, no, 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 no,
Hillary Clinton has done many great things. Yeah, like, Just like because what? nobody can ever name any of them doesn't mean right. it's not true. It's not that, yeah, it's not that they, we, they can't name them. It's just that they are unspeakable in their awesomeness. They're, you have to think about them and, and, and reflect on them with reverence. I can't really understand the full breadth of her greatness. Right. And so right. how can you articulate yeah. that through words? I mean, in anyone... just a lowly human being, it's not possible. And how awesome are pants suits? How awesome... Am I right? Mm -hmm. I know. Take it out before it gets away. Uh, another thing that's unspeakably awesome. <laughs> First fashion choices are beyond our mortal comprehension. That's the real problem. That's why um, Jimmy Fallon never should have said anything about them. I sometimes go into women's stores and uh, pick out a nice pantsuit. Retreat. They don't sell those at women's stores. So I'm not sure where you're going, but it's a secret. <laughs> it's a secret area, and I'll pick one up and I'll go in there and like, and I'll, I'll retreat to a dressing room and just put one on and yeah, along with women's underwear. Well, naturally, you have to do that. You're still uh, trying to product place that mug, aren't you? But it's, mm -hmm. you're still failing. I'm not. Well, you know, I'm not like your hands over the. It's so it's very subtle. No one knows what that is. <laughs> it's subliminal. It's subliminal messaging. Sometimes I look at, at what Hillary's wearing, and I, I, it reminds me of that episode of uh, The Office when Michael accidentally cross-dressed. Remember that? No. No. Well, so much for that joke. <laughs> Bye, joke. Bye, joke. <laughs> I tried. No, is that the one where it's on... Um... Gave you a shot. Didn't work. Holly. He's wearing Holly's clothes. No, he, he like went into a, he went into like a suit store and he accidentally, he was just oh. buying the suit out of a bin that was on sale. Yes. And he accidentally okay. ended up being a woman's suit. No, I remember that. And so he accidentally cross-dressed. I do remember that. That was awesome. <laughs> That's what I imagine Hillary's shopping experiences are like. To get actually, back to the joke that I was making that you destroyed. <laughs> Thank you. It's dead now, though. There's no bringing it back. There's no way. I'm sorry, Steven. This episode's ruined. Every time you're on. Every time, yeah, I know. I just, like, <laughs> I joke block you. <sighs> <laughs> Instead of listing her accomplishments, why don't we list the, the people who can't name any of her accomplishments? We got Charlie. Because I think that's a much longer list. Right. Mm. I mean, there's you got Hillary herself, right? Right. That's one. Right. You got an entire MSNBC panel. Uh. They're just like, um, uh, uh. well, <laughs> I'm not gonna make this into a Hillary Clinton ad, but so, yeah. You, know, <laughs> you got the State Department itself. Right. Can't figure out the uh, what what the she point. actually accomplished while she was there. <laughs> that's um, so awful. So that's at least like. Five or six, right? Which is so far more heard, than if I, if I remember any of her so. opponents, if I were any of her Republican opponents, I would just play those three things like all the time, and then like right next to it, I would like play some clip of her like looking angry at Bill Clinton. That's all I would need to win. Sorry, I need. Die! Why don't you die faster? Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, up here. Top. Up top. Got blown. Got it. to pieces. Blown to hell. Oh, he got me with a shotgun. We got Bravo. I hate those shotguns. How do you think they're going to actually make Hillary Clinton like sellable to the public? It's going to be the same thing as Obama. It's just going to be. She's a woman. We got Charlie. So uh, I hate the I hate the fact that you're probably right about that, and that's like, that's how she's pretty much gonna get away with. Oh God! Charlie. You alright? Yeah, sorry. It was me versus an ogre, and I'm in like close quarters and a strider. Oh, that's Charlie. not good. Not well, I, meant, I managed to win, so it's okay. That's impressive. Because I'm good. I'm. Oh God! But we've got all these great games coming out. Let me. Yeah. Let's um, talk about that a little bit. First of all, if you haven't played Goat Simulator, you need to. 
What? Oh, goat simulator. Go Seriously, goat. Yeah, Literally. yeah. It's 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 one of the freaking most hilarious games you'll ever play. You will be laughing the entire time you play it. There's some great games coming out. Um, Elder Scrolls Online. I'm iffy about it, but yeah, uh, I want to play it. But the big one coming out is Watch Dogs, and that's going to be very Assassin's Creed ish. You know? Yeah, that really looks next gen ish to me. Like, the graphics look really great, and the whole shebang, like, it looks very detailed. You can basically control the city with your cell phone. Yeah. You can tap into someone's phone and listen to their conversations, you know? You can uh, right. look at their face and, like, you know, get an estimate as to whether or not they're going to be susceptible, be more susceptible to be a victim than somebody else of crime. Yeah. It's just all these things, and you have to make choices, you know? And they, Like uh, the director said, you know, it's like, most games they give you this set of powers and then they tell you here use them to go do this this game they give you this set of powers and then they just stop and ask you okay what will you do i'm really excited to 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 deal with that and see what's going on with it i don't know it just seems very much like um like a gta style sandbox game or, and a stealth style game and i don't really i don't love those to be honest it's just I probably won't buy it. Well, shame on you for that. For me, the big exciting game coming up is um, the new Tom Clancy game, The Division. Mm -hmm. You've seen that? Oh yeah, I've seen that, and I'm stupid excited for it. I mean that that's sort of uh, Watchdog S too, I guess, uh, mm -hmm. in the level of detail. That's what really excites me is like you you look at that game, and it's really super detailed in like every aspect and that's what i think is really exciting in the way that like the you interact with the the world around you the way that the world around you reacts to like bullets or explosions or whatever it all looks really 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 high end that mm -hmm. really looks like a next generation experience to me that's going to be an, an interesting of games and guns when we finally get our hands on that one yeah um it's going to have some serious competition, though, in the form of Destiny, which is going to have, be more or less the same thing. Really? Is that what yep. Destiny is? Destiny is it's, it's a first-person multi, mass multiplayer online shooter, uh, oh, just like shooter. the right. okay. Yeah, they're both shooters. But it's going to have some seriously like awesome aspects to it. Um, the Division, here's the thing, and I've been thinking really hard about it. Not like That's really like the first time but, in your life. Well, you know, I take. I, I know where my priorities lie. <laughs> um, the only what games is that's what you think really hard yeah. about. I mean, I've been a gamer since I was like, like four. <laughs> four. <laughs> <laughs> the crap I think about. Oop, I just have my neck snap. Just have my neck snap. Well, that's the problem. Uh, is oh god. Yeah! Give me a Titan. Bring it down. Okay. You see the brains? Okay. You dumb thing. Oh, you almost snatched him. Cool Titan. Look at you. You're going up in that Titan. Yeah, I'm gonna ride. I'm gonna ride you, Brandon. Right the I'm gonna ride you. That's what she said. Mm. And then you said it. And then it got really awkward from there. Yeah. From somewhere. Hello, oh. buddy. Hello! Oh, I'm rodeoed. Here. Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. Get him off, 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 get him off. Get him off. Get him off. Thank you. Oh, he's oh. still there! Oh, Stevie, yeah. you're the worst. You're the absolute worst. Well, I killed him eventually. Oh, God, he's got me. He quite needs to get him off me. Oh, he's gone. I killed him. Tight and ready in 15 seconds. Because you're such a badass. Damn right, I'm a badass. It'll be interesting to see how this plays out, though. I'm gonna get both the division and and um, Destiny. Destiny. Hmm. I'm gonna get them I'll both. Probably but... just get the division. I might rent Destiny yeah, like over the uh, GameFly. Mm -hmm. See how that goes. Right now, I've got um, this really awesome game uh, called uh, Plants vs Zombies: Garden Warfare. Which is a <laughs> You're the vs. Yeah. Zombies shooter. People well, are a third-person shooter, that. so. It's it's actually a ton of fun. Hey, your Titan will be ready. Follow me around and be my slave, robot. So this is the opposite of our current uh or, or oh, God. robots are quickly taking over. Our president's already relinquished power to them. 
Do you see that? To the robots. Oh yeah, he bowed. He bowed to the robot overlords. <laughs> I think people are criticizing for that, but I think he's just being uh, trying to be ahead of the curve. Right. He sees what's coming. He wants to get. <laughs> but we he wants see to that. get his. He wants to get his uh, fealty in early. <laughs> he understands the realities. Modern life. <laughs> Obama is truly smart. No, I, I, I think it's. I, I, I thought it was funny. I, seriously though, like. Oh god. Oh god. No, 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 no. Stay it! Oh. Yeah. Make it. Yeah, I'm a Titan. Trying to make it inside. Oh! I almost made it. Oh god. That's dead. What? Oh, god. Yeah, Titan died. It was facing off against two ogres or something like that. I was. Yeah. I was on top of it shooting the ogres with uh, my anti titan weapon, but alas, it wasn't enough. Why well, couldn't you save my titan? Well, technically, your titan's kind of dumb, dude. I never even got to ride him. I never your was titan even is more really in the titan. It's so sad. He's gone. He's gone. He's just gone. Gone, baby, gone. The love is gone. There he is. Did you go ahead? I am in the chopper. Oh, look, you're in the chopper. Oh, your titan's there. I'm gonna help you. Look at you. You're just chilling. No one's even trying to kill you. That's just me. You it's just me in this shot. I just made it out. That's He's <laughs> all sad now. He's so sad. He's like, no. Uh, he, he looked up at me. He left me. Sitting away. He put his he hand up. He looked up longingly at you as you left. As you abandoned him. To die. Yeah. Jerk. No, he, he, he told me he would be faithful forever. And he was. And he blew up and died. Then he blew up and died. Just like all your relationships. Yep. <laughs> so they all Ready end. for that moment, Steven, when you and I just blow up and die too. All your relationships end the same way, Ren. And you get in a spaceship and jump a thousand miles away and your partner dies. You leave him behind to die. Who are you really running from, Brandon? Who are you really running from? Why are you so cruel to people that love you? Like that Titan? Oh, you just, you're giving me an existential crisis. <laughs> Who am I really? Oh, hey, American Flag. Interviewing you again this episode, huh? How's your day going? How you doing, man? Uh, what would you consider more American? Uh, bacon or firearms? Or bacon shot from a firearm? What about firearms made of bacon? We should do a whole episode where I just interview the flag. <laughs> America. America bacon firearms. Better, better, better. American bacon firearms. What else is going on? How's Misfit? Actually, right now, Misfit is about to release a new video. Really? So, yep. Ooh. Getting back into the video game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like I had a hiatus for a little bit from Misfit because you, you know, had a hyena. I had a hyena at Misfit for a while. Oh. And uh, I finally sold it, and uh, so I can now start making videos again. No, yeah. running your own website can get really stressful, and sometimes I just like you need a break uh, yeah. from from the worry of it. You know, really kind of just focus on other things in life because politics can really kill you after a while. Literally. And. Uh, then at one point in time, I just kind of remembered that like, the whole reason I got into this whole thing was to make funny videos. Cause, Sexy you know, videos. Oh, okay. Exactly. Um, so what I've got is coming up is uh, going to be about Michael Bloomberg's Every Town. Nice. Yeah. Um, so keep an eye out for that. The next one will be Steven. Uh, uh, you, Steven. Um, yeah. Well, I got that. I, I put a secret camera in your bathroom. And I caught you so secret. dancing in, you know, women's underwear. That's no uh, secret, Brandon. No, it is. Well, it's not anymore. <laughs> Never was. That's a webcam you're talking about. <laughs> Check out Steven's other channels, Gutowski Good Times. <laughs> All it is is just an hour-long video of him just dancing in women's underwear. Dancing. It's a Miley Cyrus. For those of you who don't know what's going on right now, I'm riding on Steven's shoulders. On the, the shoulders. shoulders. The shoulders of, of genius. Oh, and he got away. Dazed, dazed and confused. He got away, and then he threw a thing at me. He threw his thing at you? That's gross. He threw, he threw his thing at me, and I died. 
It was massive and scary. Oh, I see you. Hey. Let me watch you. You gonna come jumping back? Oh, I'm just following you. Oh, hey. The Titan Pass. Hey, buddy. AI okay. offline. Alright, let's, right, let's go. Uh, let's go this way. Yeah, let's go that way. Oh, that was fun. They are hammering me right now, dude. Let's. Let's get something over here. Alright, you don't need to bring your personal life onto the show, buddy. Well, you invite me on, you get the hard truth, you know? I'm too real for you, Steven, that's the problem. Some things that the internet doesn't need to know. Everyone wants to know everything about every bit of my life. That's why they tune in. That's why they tune in to see me. I've been listening to a lot of rap music lately, so my ego's like off the charts. Your ego. Gotta check that ego, bro. I'm not doing so hot this game. Which is weird, because you're very hot. Man. Oh, that's the first time you've ever actually said something nice to me, Steven. That was not blatant. Well, no, that was blatant. Well, that was pretty blatant. Yeah. I'm only into you for your looks, Brandon. So. Most people are. It's the only reason I have you on. Once they find out I'm dumb as a brick, they tend to leave. <laughs> At least I'm hot, you know? Yeah. You got one very specific thing going for you. Oh, oh, yes. Damn. Yes, hello. Hello. Let me see your brain. Die. I got a Titan assist for a Rodeo Titan, and I pretty much killed most of it, and I died. Oh, faster than this. Rip off, folks. Oh, God! He yes. He's about to explode. Yeah, let's destroy the thing. Go, destroy Take it out. Go, go, go. I'm going to Oh, we almost got him. Come on, come on, come on. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Unload, 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 unload. No! Yes! Yes, high five. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, look at me, high five. I got a double kill for it. So well, I'll high five you. I high five you. Here, mm. alright. It's too late. Oh, boom! Yeah. Alright, well that was good. Thank you for being on again, sir. Oh, look, you got the, you got the product placement right this time. Mm. Oh, that cup looks oh, delicious oh, oh, oh. to drink out of. I and it's say. larger than most cups, Steven. <laughs> the Misfit Politics cups are made with pure ceramic and also this stuff. I don't know what it is. It's beautiful. But it hangs on tight. There's like some sort of cow on there? Is that, mm. is that right? No, miss, No, this is the Misfit Politics uh, Mohawk Elephant, Steven. Oh. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, right. you should pick one up. Uh, maybe I will. Cafe Press slash Misfit Politics. So much better out of this coffee. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for being on again. It was um, my pleasure to suck. Uh, we will see you all another time. Goodbye. Make sure you subscribe and like and share. And and also keep an eye out for the article about it later. Yes. On Visit Misfit, Misfit Politics. Politics. Visit the College Politico. Go on the BuzzFeed thing where I put put it up. and Yeah. Yeah, all that Do good all stuff. that. Do it all. Do it. Do it now. Right now.